Hello and welcome everyone. So in this video we are going to uh, draw the projection of a line. Now the line AB uh, which is given to us is 35 millimeters long and this line is perpendicular to vertical plane and uh, this end B is 15 mm away from the horizontal plane and uh, this uh, B end is 10 mm away from vertical plane. Now, uh, basically, another information that is given is that all the extremities of this line, they lie in the same quadrant. So, basically, both of uh, the end points, they are in same quadrant. So, basically, they will be along one side of the XY line only. So, that is uh, the information, additional information that we are provided with. Now, we need to draw the projection in all four quadrants. So, uh, we are going to draw the projection for first quadrant first and then we will be moving to the second and for third and fourth quadrant uh, basically third will be the opposite of first uh, projection of first quadrant and uh, fourth will be the exactly mirror image of uh, mirror image of the uh, second quadrant's projection so we are going to create a mirror image for that now uh, any other information that is given to us none so uh, we can work as uh, basically we can keep the distance between end projectors uh, as much as we want so uh, suppose that i want to uh, keep the distance between end projectors as uh, 20 mm so uh, the command that we are going to use is measure m e a s u r e measure press enter now this is the object that we want to measure and the distance uh, that we want to keep between end projectors is 20 units so basically this has uh, placed uh, points at the required gap okay so i'm going to shift them and uh, now you can take a look now we are going to start with the front view of this particular line so basically this is uh, perpendicular to vp so it simply means that the front view of this particular line will be a point only okay and that point will be how much distance this will be the uh, distance uh, 15 mm okay so that will be the distance of uh, front view of this line from xy line so we are going to place point on this particular uh, location and basically the uh, i would say nomenclature for this one this will be uh, both of the points will be there so this is front view so a dash and b dash both of these points will be there now i'm going to change their size as well double click select it and make the size three or two whatever you want just place this one here and this is the front view of this line now what about the top view so top view will be uh, of true length that will be of 35 mm length okay and uh, what will happen with the distance so basically this is 10 millimeters from vp so you will have to measure 10 millimeters from this particular uh, xy line so 10 and then you are going to draw the projection so place the points on the same point uh, same locations so repeat point command so this will be the projection okay now the information that we have is n b is 15 mm away from hp and 10 mm from vp so basically this particular point is just copy it paste it here so this one will be point b okay and the lower point that will be point c sorry not c a so these are the projections that we have so we can move them a little bit closer to the line now this is the projection of this line so let's increase the line weight a little bit so that the projection is clearly visible so this is the case in which the line is in first quadrant okay 
Now, if the line is in second quadrant, what will happen? Basically, both front view and the top view, they will be drawn on the same, uh, I would say, on the same side of this XY line. Okay. So, front view will remain at the same location. So, what I can do, I can copy it from here using this point as the base point and place it here. So, this particular point will remain at the same location. Okay. But this top view, what will happen? This will uh, be shifted to the uh, to above XY line. Okay. So, what will happen with this case? So, this particular top view, it will shift above XY line. So, I am copying this particular line using this as the base point. Yes, sorry. Use copy command. Select this as the base point and now where you are going to place it this is something that you need to understand so this particular line it will be placed at uh, what distance at a distance of 10 units from this particular point so measure 10 units starting from this one measure till 10 press enter now press escape and place a point on this location now you are going to copy this line specify a base point and place this base point at this particular location so this will be the uh, projection uh, of line now we need to place the points okay so for a dash and b dash we are correct we don't need to worry about now for this one what will be the location of this point so this point will be the point b nearer point okay so i'm going to place this one this here this one will be b after that the far end this will be the point a now we have not placed points so place a point here now at this location point is there so we are going to increase the point size as well don't worry about that so for first and second quadrant we are done with the projection now for third and fourth quadrant what we are going to do is we are going to uh, create a mirror image so uh, before creating a mirror Im image uh, i'm going to place the dimensions okay so use dim place these dimensions So, for this one it's done, for this line I can place these projections or distances like this, place a distance between these two points like this and between these two points like this. So, basically we have placed all the dimensions, now select any one dimension, right click and select similar and change the color of uh, these dimensions so that they are properly separable and then select these text that you have placed here so that we can distinguish this one as well and change its color to blue now we have the projection of uh, first two quadrant now i'm going to uh, create a mirror image so select the objects for which you want to create a mirror like this press enter now we need to specify the mirror line so mirror line we are going to specify parallel to xy line so just place it do not erase the source object now these projections they are the projections of our uh, third and fourth quadrant so what i'm going to do is i'm going to move it and specify this point as the base point and simply press uh, keep this base point like this and you will get the projection in first second third and fourth quadrant so uh, this is how you can draw the projection for this particular question now what we are going to do is we are going to trim the non-required portion use trim command again the 
can trim these points. We can delete these points as well. Then uh, we can remove these points if we want, but right now it's not necessary or, or we can simply remove them in order to remove the clutter as well. Delete these. Let's delete these points as well. So that only the points that are of projections they are remaining in the drawing. Now let's increase the point size as well so that they are clearly visible. So we are going to use P type command, press enter, increase point size from 2 to 4 and click. Okay, so I hope uh, the drawing is clearer now. So this is how you can draw the projection of line perpendicular to the vertical plane. I hope uh, you guys have learned something new. So that's all for this video. Thank you very much and have a nice day.